basic road infrastructure linking the Trabine community to other parts of the Kintampo North municipality mm -hmm. is virtually non-existent. A small town located off the Kintampo Tamale Road is one of the hard-to-reach communities in the Bono East region. One would have to spend about an hour from Srinuase to Ntrabai due to the nature of the road, a journey that could have lasted less than 30 minutes. This dusty portal reading route was first attended to by the Buzia government through communal labor. Nana Sinwa II shares with Joy News how this was done. This culvert was constructed during the Buzia regime. I was a young man by then when we engineered this road through to Stronoase. Through that process, this culvert here, which has been washed away by erosion over the years, was constructed. We used our strength to roll this culvert to its current position. Slowly but surely, we got closer to Ntrabine, a predominantly farming community. For these farmers we met on our way, their utmost worry is the fact that their farm produce do not get to the markets on time. We are unable to cross that river you crossed during the rainy seasons. As I speak, my old yams are still not sold and I have new ones too. The road is terrible. How do we send them to the market? We walk to the Kintampo market because there are no cars. By the time you return, you are exhausted. We carry our goods to the market and we get tired in the process. Pregnant women in labor would have to get to the Kintampo government hospital either on a motorbike or in tricycles and a number of them either lose their lives or that of their babies. Abna Felicia shares with me what women go through during labor. How is a pregnant woman expected to ride on a motorbike on this road? Sometimes we lose our babies before getting to the hospital because of the difficulties we face on the road. Other communities, including Tufu Boy, are facing similar challenges. Nana Tikoku Tifu II is the chief of Tifu Boy. He shares with Joy News how successive governments have neglected the affected communities, though they come around to campaign during the electioneering seasons. In fact, we have so many challenges. Respecting our rules, which are very, very horrible. When our people are sick, to carry them to the nearest hospital, which is asking Tampo, we find it difficult in taking them there. We have to carry them those days on hers to the roadside, which is Sonasi, before they can get to Kintampo. We have always been voting to the governments, and we have not been seeing anything. It looks as if they have abandoned these villages, as if we are not part of Ghana. And we have been voting any time there is election. When it's time for election, they will come and make a campaign and say, oh, we'll do this for you, we'll do that for you. <laughs> After they have succeeded in getting to the castle, they forget about us. So my people have been come around to say that this time we will not even vote again. Honorable Asino Kwasi Emanuel is the assemblyman for Yara Electoral Area. He appeals to government to capture the Traban rules in his year of road project. This year has been tagged as the year of road by government, so we plead that this road should also be considered because we've been suffering over the years. Reporting for Joy News, Anas Sabit, Ntrabai.